Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought we could spend the weekend together. Don't know about you, but that sounds fun to me. It sounds far more exciting than spending it alone. It's actually Easter weekend and it's this is very sad, but I am on my own. I got back from holiday yesterday morning, Good Friday. Um, it was so sunny, all the families were together and I arrived home very tired, a little bit sad and deflated because when you come home from holiday, it's never nice. And to be honest, I'm feeling very much the same today. I am seeing my family tomorrow on Easter Sunday for, I think we're having a roast in Chesh Cheshire? Chester, I live in Cheshire, in Chester with my dad and his side of the family. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But up until then, I kind of am on my own. I won't lie, I am really starting to struggle now with Danny being away. He's home two weeks tomorrow. <laughs> two weeks isn't much, but to be honest, it's been too long now and I'm really struggling with it and I'm really missing him, especially this weekend because it's all about family and doing things with your family and it's such lovely weather. It's like the first weekend where it's been really nice weather. Um, and yeah, he's not here and it's such a shame because I'd love to be doing something with him right now. Standard, I'm coming on to you looking dishevelled. Um, I'm still loving my hair, but I've not done anything with it. I just washed it this morning and I've just dried it. So I'm just sort of going to leave it natural, I think, today because I'm not seeing anyone. Um, yeah, I'm not going to put makeup on today. I had such a nice time on holiday. It was very needed. It was like a four, four night mini break away with my friend. I called it an 80-20 holiday. We were relaxed 80% of the time and then did some exercise and moved our bodies 20% of the time. I'd say it was probably more like 90-10 actually. I've just semi finished unpacking my suitcase. I've still got clothes absolutely everywhere. I'm desperate to start selling things on Depop, but because as well, I've just moved here. I don't know where the nearest post office is. I know that's such a lame excuse and I could probably literally just put it in Google Maps and find the nearest post office, but I'm putting off lots of things like this, to be honest. I've just put a wash on, I've unpacked. The fridge is completely empty, so empty. I think there's like three things in there. So I definitely need to do a food shop today. I'm assuming the shops will be open. Yeah, only tomorrow I think they'll be closed. I might attempt to go to the gym today, maybe tomorrow, maybe do a long run tomorrow morning. I don't know, this is gonna be a very off the cuff vlog. Uh, picking up the camera today is definitely gonna help lift my mood with missing Danny and being by myself. So thank you guys for being there watching me because it definitely is helping me. I think I'm going to jump in my car now and head over to Aldi, do a food shop. I'll show you the fridge now. Yes, this is my very, very sad looking fridge. We've got a few HelloFresh bits at the bottom. I don't know when my next HelloFresh order is coming actually. What day is it today? Probably Wednesday. I think it's coming Wednesday. So I do need a few dinners for the next few nights. But yeah, this is the state of my fridge currently. So this needs to be restocked. So let's go and do that now. one of the worst ideas I've ever had to go to the supermarket the day before Easter Sunday. Why on earth did I think it'd be quiet today? I think maybe because it's a Saturday. I just assumed no one would be doing their food shop on a Saturday. But then also it's the day before Easter Sunday, so everything's closed tomorrow and people are buying stuff to cook dinner and stuff. So that was chaotic to say the least. I was stressed. I thought I'd get my camera out, film a few little bits around Aldi, show you what I'm getting. No. Pure chaos, couldn't think about anything else except getting what I need, which I don't even think I managed to do that because it was so busy, honestly, it was so busy. But I made it back 70 pounds later um, with not actually a lot to show for it because I know I am um, queen of raving on about how cheap Aldi is, but it's not anymore. No food shops are cheap anymore. And it's just the reality these days, unfortunately. But I'm gonna, unpack everything now and then i will show you what i got okay i say not a lot to show for it there's actually quite a lot of food here a little bit of a different shop to my usual one i did get some extra bits that i wouldn't normally get basically aldi are very good at bringing new in stuff can't help but buy the new in stuff to try it i don't know if you guys remember on my instagram story a while ago i showed this pesto pasta Should you put it in the microwave for a minute and yeah just eat it straight like that and it's actually really nice some people said they hated it but i really really like it like i love pasta i saw today that they brought out some new ones like normally they only ever have these so these are the only ones i've ever tried but i also saw um tomato and basil just a tomato and basil one um so i thought i'd try that a tomato and olive pasta one 
this one's literally 200 calories and they're really big packs as well like you actually get a lot in there and then just a mac and cheese one for 220 calories as well these are really handy like if i'm in a rush or i often just get like really hungry for no apparent reason um so for only a couple hundred calories they're just a good snack not overly healthy but let me just show you then what i got we'll start over here so meat wise i didn't get that much meat today because i've got quite a lot of stuff in the freezer already but i've got a steak so i think i'm gonna have a steak for dinner tonight i've got some bacon medallions and some ham over here i got these are like the knockoff um what are they called knockoff oh squares bars but they taste literally exactly the same um i got some of my favorite if you know me then you know my obsession with these under here i got two packets of chocolate because i'm gonna do something with these and some cornflakes to take to my family tomorrow um yeah i'm gonna make something a bit later just got some iceberg lettuce some salad bits cucumber broccoli cherry tomatoes i literally always have cherry tomatoes with everything some baby corn and just a couple of tins of sweet corn carrots got some bananas oat milk over there um this was also another new in thing i don't need it i've already got pasta but um, they've not done Aldi don't ever do rigatoni so I thought I'd get that boring stuff at the back just some fabric conditioner and some toilet roll again you guys know me I literally always have these in the fridge some olives which I have just opened because I was starving I need to have some lunch now some of these potatoes which I'll probably just have them like steak tonight corn sausages because I have a big freezer and I want to put stuff in the freezer um, which is why I got these as well these are literally a lifesaver when it gets a bit hot then Peppercorn sauce, just to put with my steaks nice. Some bin bags, very, very dull. Corn flakes, which if you think about the melted chocolate and you see these sweets, you can probably figure out what I'm gonna do. Some bagel thins, love bagel thins. And then just some stuff for my smoothies. So I've already got loads of frozen fruit in the freezer, but you can never have too much frozen fruit. And some ice cubes. That is literally all I got. It was 70 pounds, which <laughs> is a lot. It's literally a lot. I mean, the steak's quite a lot. These sweets were quite a lot as well, um, but that's just a one-off. So yeah, I'm going to pack all this away now and then figure out what the hell I'm going to have for lunch because I'm so hungry. Sorry, I know I've put some stuff in the cupboards, right? But it literally looks the same emptiness as it did before. I, I can't believe I've just spent £70, guys. But all this stuff, do you remember my old fridge at the place that we used to rent? All this stuff would have literally been jammed in there. Like there would have been no room. I think it's just because we've got such a bigger fridge now that it's really throwing me off and it's making me feel like i've not got much at all okay it's a bit later now as you guys know we're all about the aesthetics over on this channel not literally couldn't be any further from it so i thought i would treat you all to some slow motion baking you know really enjoying stirring really enticing you all into what i'm doing just kidding i'm gonna melt some chocolate and pour it on some cornflakes and then stick some sweets on the top these are really actually quite cute to be honest and then i think jobs are good in and i'm going to take them to my family tomorrow i bought the cheapest of the cheap cornflakes from aldi i bought the cheapest of the cheap chocolates also from aldi this is the nicest chocolate in the world by the way um, and i got those sweets i've had these for forever literally for forever um got them from b&m god probably well over a year ago never used them because i don't bake we're not even baking i can't even begin to call this baking and um, we're melting we're melting and stirring and pouring so um best way to melt chocolate in my eyes whack it in a microwavable bowl and put it in the microwave can't be bothered with all this fancy stirring over hot water malark um might not even be enough chocolate i really wish i was more um pleasing on the eye with my videos like i love Gemma louise miles videos i love ellie swift's videos because they make me feel calm and they make everything look so nice but i can't i can't do it i literally have tried i think you've probably seen me try a few times and i can't do it right there's only enough room for one of these chocolate bars so let me melt this one first i might actually put this over the top of it just to be extra safe i'm not sure how many cornflakes is best to use um but we'll, we'll eyeball it. <laughs> we'll eyeball it. Definitely not all of these. God, no. Maybe like a quarter of the pack. Oh, and I don't have a mixing bowl either. Of course I don't have a mixing bowl. So even more pleasing on the eye. We're going to be mixing them in the saucepan. They're getting 
again, apologise. Right. I feel like that's a nice amount. That's about half. How many silicone cups have I got? 12, maybe. Oh, it depends how much the chocolate melts. Oh, this is going to be so hard not for me to eat. But this is semi-melted, as you can see. So it's created some room for me to break the other bar up into it, which is great. Let's do that. Okay, the chocolate's nearly melted. Um, not going to lie, it tastes unreal. I did lick it off the spoon. But whilst we wait for it to fully melt, um, I'm going to put these out on this plate, I think. I don't know if I'll need all 12. How many are going tomorrow? I think there's like 10 of us, to be fair. All right, I'm going to put them all out. Because they're only tiny, look, they're literally like this big. <laughs> they're cute though, very like Eastery. So let's lay these out on here. I'm sure they're not gonna go to waste anyway. I'm fully melted, I'm just gonna pour it straight in. Right, it's going in, gang. I feel like it probably could have melted a little bit longer. Oh my God, wow. No, this will do, this will do just fine. <laughs> There's a perfect amount of corn flakes as well. A little bit more chocolate would have been great, I think, but listen, we're working with what we've got. Okay, that is all fully mixed together. I don't know how you can see. How well you can see? There you go. Oh, there you go. That is looking good. Definitely could have done with a little bit more chocolate or less cornflakes. And I also think it's only going to be enough for like maybe six. But that's fine. It's trial and error. Finish giving this a good mix. And then I'm literally just going to spoon them into here. I'm not going to lie. I really want one of these now. <laughs> but definitely can't be doing that. And then they're literally just going to go in the fridge until tomorrow and then I'll take them over. Okay, I've managed to fill 11 of them, literally just one left over that I didn't bother filling. Um, so when these are all done, I'll put them in the fridge and then I'll just chuck them in a Tupperware box to take tomorrow. There's just sweets in here. There's some little mini eggs, there's some carrots, some um, little like Haribo egg things. So I'll just probably chuck a few of these on top and then take the bag with me tomorrow. I could probably get three things in there actually. Yay! Oh, that's cute. Why are these the cutest things in the world then? Sorry, why are those carrots literally adorable? I wanted to put the carrots on all of them, but just try to spread it out a bit. Oh, I mean, it really wasn't hard work, guys. If you want to do some like easy, fun baking, or like you want to bake, but you can't bother to do lots of baking, then I really recommend these because it honestly took me like 10 minutes and they've turned out so cute, look. Okay, I have quickly just thrown on some gym gear. I'm forcing myself to go. I kind of can't really be bothered today because I feel like I just need a day to stop and sort myself out after get back from holiday. But I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to run there now. It's literally, it takes me four minutes to run there. Four minutes, that's so good. Don't know how busy it's going to be. Again, it's a Saturday, but it's ten past six now. Like, that's the busiest time to go to a gym, but surely not on a Saturday. I don't know. Sweating. I got here in five minutes. Took it easy. Um, it, it's so quiet, but of course it's so quiet. It's Saturday evening. Like I need to get alive. I need to actually get alive. Saturday evening at the gym, but it's great because no one's here, so I can get my camera out and show you what I'm doing. Excluding my run, including my run, I've been here 53 minutes. So now I'm about 45 minutes probably. 
really shaky arms, I can't actually hold you still. Um, just did some shoulders, chest and triceps. Did two to three exercises on each muscle group. Um, tired now, gonna walk, walk home, not gonna run home. <laughs> um, jump in the shower and I will see you next when I'm gonna have some dinner. This is my dinner tonight. I'm just waiting for the peppercorn sauce to be done in the microwave, literally in like 10 seconds. Um, I've got steak, broccoli, it's gonna go all steamy. Um, some baby corn and these little herby potatoes that I picked up from Aldi. I haven't got any plans in the morning, just our dinner is booked for like half three, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll speak to you all in the morning. Night, guys. Happy Easter, good morning, happy Sunday. What a lovely day it's going to be as well. Super sunny. I'm just cooking myself some breakfast um, before, I think I'm gonna go on like a walk this morning, a bit of a canal walk. And then I'm gonna go and train some legs at the gym afterwards. I'm just making um, two slices of bacon dalliance with a bagel thin. Because basically, if I'm gonna train, if I'm gonna gym, I can't just have one of my shakes. Like, I have to train with something actually having been chewed. Does that make sense? Anyone else like that? Like, I am the worst at training when I've not got a full belly. <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys to see if I was being it's, I feel like it's a bit of a Karen moment. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm being a bit of a Karen, but also I don't feel like I am. Basically, where I am, there's some houses opposite, not even like my neighbors, opposite and like diagonally to me. And fair enough, they've got like a lot of, lot of children. I think maybe like six children, five or six children in that house. Let me just check my bagel, hold on. Good job I did check it. Really burnt. Um, yeah, so five or six children in that house, not an issue, however, Every time they're home from school, Saturdays, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, it's like constant, constant screaming. And my windows are quite thin. Um, and I don't have an issue with it, but I, there was actually a point yesterday where I had a small headache and it was 100% from that. It's not because it's, well, it is loud, but it's just like, it's like constant. So they play football outside. And it's obviously, it's absolutely fine. Like there's literally nothing wrong with that. And I'm sure when, I have kids one day, they'll probably do the same, but I feel like I'd probably tell them to keep the noise down a bit. Because what if there's people that have, that have worked nights, that are doing night shifts and they're trying to sleep in the day? There's no way you can. Like, I'm having to get out of the house because it is so loud. I think some of you actually noticed the screaming um, in my last video in the Hello Fresh bit. <laughs> someone said, someone said, is that kid screaming in the background and why I'm imagining it? No, you're not imagining it. It's constant. It's only not now because it's like nine o'clock in the morning, um, half nine in the morning. But I don't know, like obviously there's nothing you can do about it, but it's getting to the point now where like it's driving me insane. I don't know, I, that's really bad. Like obviously it's not an issue because kids, it's sunny and kids can go and play outside, but I don't know. I don't know really what to do about it. Obviously I can't do anything about it at all. Yeah, does anyone else have this problem with noisy neighbors? Like what are you meant to do about it? Just ignore it. Um, also don't come for me, be like, oh, they're just kids, they should be allowed to play, like you should stop moaning. It's fine, but like, also I'm trying to do a bit of work and stuff in the day and I can't, literally can't hear myself think. Um, but yeah, that's my problem of the morning. <laughs> literally not a problem at all, is it really? Eagle thin with some bacon and ketchup. Really not that exciting. But I'm gonna get this down me and then yeah, I'm gonna finish this and then head out, have a walk along the canal, maybe get a coffee, and I'll bring you with me. If you feel it, oh, if you feel it, if you feel it, oh, if you feel it, if you feel it, oh, if you feel it, if you feel it, oh, if you feel it, if you feel it, oh, if you feel it, oh, if you feel it, oh, if you feel it, if you feel it. Bad gym experiences. I did take some footage and it was going fine, but 
basically, I'm not a big coffee drinker, okay? And this coffee I had at the canal was really strong, but it was nice, I enjoyed it. And straight after, I had like this the worst headache ever. Um, went to the gym, was literally shaking, like I've never shook before. My head felt like it was about to explode and I felt like I was gonna like pass out. Anyway, I've just asked my dad because my dad knows the answer to everything. And he said, I said, can strong coffee give you a headache? And he said, strong caffeine before exercise and will give you heart palpitations, which I had, and will make you feel dizzy and faint and all sorts. Um, so I did three, I did, I went on the Stairmaster and did three exercises, legs, and I had to leave because I literally felt like I was gonna be sick. It was awful. Oh my God, like, why have I never experienced that before? And why did I not know that? strong coffee would make me feel like that. I'm sure people have coffee before exercising, or am I wrong? I don't know, my mum always has this, like a small black coffee whenever she goes out to the gym, or maybe it's because I'm not a coffee drinker, maybe because that was like really not normal for me to do. Um, and I won't be doing that again, that's really taught me a lesson. Oh my God, I'm gutted, because I was really enjoying that session as well, like I was really getting into it and lifting quite heavy. Oh my God, I'm sweating. I feel like I just need a minute. Has anyone ever had that before? Please tell me if you have in the comments because obviously as a regular gym goer, I don't know how I didn't know that. I don't know if it was just a one-off as well, but I was fully hydrated. I'd had a good breakfast. God knows, very bizarre. Um, so sorry about my lack of gym footage there. I literally had to leave. I was literally in there like half an hour. I did 10 minutes on the Stairmaster and then 20 minutes later, that was me gone. I'm gonna have a cold shower now because I'm still not feeling right at all sort the house out got some laundry here that I need to put away and then I'm gonna get ready um what's the time it's 12 o'clock now I'm gonna get ready and head over to Chester and um, there's quite a lot of us going actually oh my battery's about to die right I'll see you when I'm ready and heading to Chester I'm ready to go now quick turnaround just put my little um rice crispy cornflake cake things on the plate with some tin foil on. I'm gonna take the leftovers of these sweets because I definitely don't need them all. Just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing very quickly. On my feet, I've got my favorite Converse. Literally ever, so many of you asked me about these. Um, and Danny got them for me for Christmas. I think it was Christmas. Did he, yeah. Um, just got on some blue, like navy blue cycling shorts. Had forever. I think they're PLT, probably PLT. Got a little black um, like tank top on from PLT and then this. Little like, I think it's called Hound's Tooth, this print, isn't it? It's just from ASOS, little cropped blazer. And then my bag. I'm gonna head over to Chester now. It's like, um, like a 30, 30, 40 minute drive and I'll see everyone there and I'll see you when I get there. Just arrived at the place for lunch, dinner. Well, it's lunch, dinner. In between, it's like half three. It's called The Architect in Chester. We've been here quite a few times now because they literally do an amazing, amazing roast. I feel like I'm the only one here. Um, yeah, just me, guys. <laughs> yeah. We're here. The Kuwait. Oh, not the night. No, no. I mean, you might. Full table today. Oh yeah. Really cool. This is nice. We're on our anti juice. Yeah, hi. Covered in sick. Oh man. Got the dogs here. Everyone's here. You've not cried this whole time. Food. Laura actually said. She had the sandwich. She had the best of the sandwich. Best of the sandwich ever. Sit down. 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 That's not even hot at all. It's not. That's okay. Oh, Liverpool. Liverpool Arsenal, yeah. Fair enough. Oh, what's the score? Oh, do you want to know what the Leeds score was? Leeds Crystal Palace. So I have a lamb roast. This is like the third lamb roast I think I've had here. It's literally unreal. Oh, Tommy, what's Tommy got? Why's he got a burger? So Leeds has been. Most people have got lamb to be fair. Had to get a Yorkshire pudding extra as well. You feel great now. Still on. I've written it off now. I know. But thanks, Mom. Thanks for remembering. That's that's sweet, Dad. Oh my goodness! I'm feeling all dishevelled. Gosh, stays with me.
I am so full. I am literally stuffed to the brim. I had a starter, that huge roast dinner. Did I show you the roast? I can't remember. And then just come back to my dad's now and we had um, those little desserts that I made. They went down quite well. I was quite surprised. Just had a nice cup of tea and one of those. I think I'm gonna bring this vlog off to a close here. It's been overly chaotic, but it's been a nice chilled weekend. Caught up with the family. My mum's coming up on Wednesday to stay for a couple of nights, which I can't wait. I love it when she comes to stay with me. And we're officially on. Today is the two week countdown till Dahlia's home. I don't know if I'll put out another video between now and then. I probably will. But you guys will see him very soon on the channel, which I can't wait for as well. Like, honestly, today I did, I'm not gonna lie, I had a few tears today. I don't know why, but when I was driving to my dad's, I just felt so, just a bit deflated. Like, I don't know, like I just really wanted him to be here. And time is dragging now. I feel like the closer to the end that we get, the slower the time goes. At the start, it wasn't so bad because we knew we had so long to go, but now it's only two weeks to go. It's like, oh, just get over and done with that. But yeah, thank you all so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all had the best Easter weekend as well. Sending you all lots of love and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.